Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we'll be talking about uh, the spec code editor. It's a wonderful uh, application for web design, web development, development via JavaScript and everything concerning JavaScript, TypeScript, uh, React, VU and all that. So I'm just going to show you how powerful this application is and the awesome things that we're going to do it, you can do with it rather. Um, so I'm just right here on Play Store you should go on Play Store and type the name of the app so that you can download it if you've not downloaded it yet I've already downloaded mine so I'm just gonna hit the open button so that we can dive right into the application and see what we really have in it so it gives us a pop-up it's a simple thing saying that you should save your file before uh, uninstalling the app uh, basically git if that's possible if you have a git, git account because uh, when you uninstall the app it basically clears out everything that is associated with the application okay i'm gonna close that pop-up and we have a basic dummy game right here it's a snake game and it's all created with basic uh, uh html as you can see right here css and javascript this is javascript code i'm just gonna play the game so that you can see how powerful a javascript is it's not just a programming language that's meant for the web you can also use it for creating awesome things mobile apps and games i'm just gonna hit this uh, play icon right at the right uh, hand top of the screen and we are having a game if you want to play the game just need to hit any direction from the the pad the joystick pad the little screen on your screen if you hit any direction the snake starts moving and you can then control it and you can see how powerful it is it's and generates another random location for the next red uh thing for the snake to take but that's not really where we're uh what, what i want to uh, uh, uh do or talk about today i want to talk about something else like how you can navigate through the app and use it and do awesome things so i'm just going to go to the uh icon at the left hand top of the screen from the navigation bar on the top of the screen and i'm going to tap the the one at the extreme left and it gives us uh, the navigation and then the recent uh, files that we've viewed but where I want to I want to go to start up with this tutorial is the workshop you hit the workshop uh, zone and we have an empty no project we've not created any projects yet so we're just gonna create a project you tap on the create project uh, button and we're having an awesome uh, uh, frameworks here we're having node.js we're having typescript we're having bootstrap we're having HTML we're having uh, semantic UIs and materialize and angular and react and VU as you can see this app it it's it comes with a lot of packages it's not just limited to just web designs you can use it and create awesome awesome things uh, it's it's also bootstrap 5 so it's well updated okay um, so I'm just gonna go for something really basic here so that we can start up because this is just an intro video that I'm doing right here um, so I'm just gonna tap on the HTML uh, icon and we'll name it first project quickly it's our first project and tap the create and what we get is three basic files we have in the HTML file which get uh, gives us a, a dummy uh, uh, template HTML template we have in the CSS C the CSS just has a body uh, styling it the, the font size of every text to 15 uh, PT and a a Java JavaScript file is just consoling uh, logging out hello world on the console so we're gonna go to the HTML file and link uh, link the the style sheet so we're just gonna type and this app has Emmet in it you can easily uh, uh, has this intelligence when you're typing it's, it would uh, pop out what guess the guess what you're trying to type out and once you get once you get what you want just type this uh um tab uh, icon or tab sign on your navigation right here just immediately before your uh, keyboard tap it and it automatically loads out everything you need for that particular tag or what you want so we want to link the uh, CSS style sheet so just like how we link every external style sheets will go we'll say dot slash because it's in the same directory and the name of the CSS is style.css so we're just gonna call it style.css 
and just to make sure that this um this this uh thing this little code or one line we just wrote works we're going to go to the star file and change the background of the body the color of the background color like i said every every file has its own um intellisense we go background say tab and then we say the color would be say red then we close it up and let's play and see how it looks and as usual we tap the the green play button on the right top right side of the screen and nothing happened probably we we didn't uh name the got the naming convention properly background color i forgot to put the color and let's make sure i got this too and i think i do let's try again nothing's still happening huh that's strange okay i shouldn't have added this um quotations on the color forgot i'm not coding on javascript so let's try that again and let's play this code and see what we have and we have a red color so our css is perfectly linked and let's check our javascript our javascript has already been linked on the dummy text uh to see whether it works we're just going to go to the console right here we'll tap the console and we're having hello world so everything is actually working so this is just not really something so nice but i'm just showing you how to connect or interconnect uh, on this device you can import uh, uh, videos pictures a whole lot of things just tap on this import files and tap on your files and you you get to just import any kind of uh, files but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna show you a few things before uh, the video closes uh, probably on next videos uh, we'll be going deep we'll be going on a deep dive on how to do all these things uh, okay um okay I'm just going to show you the icon on the the la on your the bottom of your screen how you can actually use this to navigate through your uh, page the the up down left and right uh, arrows are basically for navigating up down left or right of your uh, file it's very powerful because sometimes you can't really tap basically where you want your cursor to be blinking at so you use this um, navigation I don't think every application has this but spec a detail has and it's very helpful when you want to do a whole bunch of things if you tap at this at the the uh the shift sign if you tap at the shift sign on the extreme uh right it pops out a new set of options where you can use and copy you can either copy tap the copy sign it has copied you can redo undo this is for uh redoing this is for undoing this for redoing okay okay and this for cutting out your your files that's just basically what all these things are for this one is for including uh, signatures whether you want to find a particular text and all that and then just the icon above we're having tags or when you are on your HTML file your you the tab also works as tab when you're on your HTML file you can use these tags to basically create uh, your normal HTML tags you can see right here okay let's go down and create a head tag just immediately before the the P tags say h1 tags you tap this and say h1 hello there hello there and we close the tag you see how powerful these things are and the of course the intelligence comes comes out you just need to tap the the tab icon or sign and it closes that up for you and if you play this you're going to get a hello there on a bigger size because it's a head uh, tag okay that's basically it for this uh creating your folder your project your first project and if you go back if we hit the the this we go back to where we were before now we see that on our recent we already have this our first project so we can easily access that folder anytime we want and we can also create uh other projects if we desire to just this little dot icons on the navigations is used for when you tap it it pops out these create projects and clone projects you can clone projects 
if you have a github account you could just enter the url and clone your project into your application you can also create this works the same just like the create project right here okay okay this is the editor interface where we were before now and on the settings this is where you can customize the application to look exactly how you want it to look the background you can change the background color and all that the text size you can enlarge it the the theme you can it can either be light okay you can change the light change it to whatever you want and also when you do this go back to your editor you notice that also your your text also changes to uh, something that will suit the theme so let's go back to the settings and see what more we have right here i was just going to change it back to to dracula and let's move on so i'm not gonna go through every single thing but i'm just going to uh, point out some of the uh, nice and important things that you might want to need we're having auto complete sync dash that's the or intellisense that we have i think you might want to leave that on uh, the cursor style the cursor style no blinking i think you might want to leave it to be blinking so you can actually see the cursor the font size you can either go smaller or larger okay i'm just going to leave it at 12. uh you can do whatever you want and also the background forgot to mention the background you can add a custom background to this that means you can set once you tap on this set background uh button right here tap on it and then upload a picture tap on the upload picture and you can actually upload any particular picture you desire takes a while to upload but it, it works i think i've tried that before um okay where were we before then uh, the the line numbers print margins everything you can you can just go through this at your own convenient time tab size the spaces it leaves uh after each tab the the word wrap i think you might want to leave it to a, to to wrap because of the size of uh every phone uh it should wrap so that you don't get to be scrolling every time to the end of every text just to see what's there on the screen and the portrait should also i'll leave mine on portrait mm, okay the console type can either be legacy or a ruder the legacy types uh if you leave it at legacy let me just show you how that looks i uh, will go back to the editor play this and just the console is right here on the top of the screen instead of from the bottom of the screen so this kind of console doesn't really give you uh, the whole um, settings and everything but if we had a Luda, i would show you just uh, how interactive so we'll go back to the settings right now if we had the eluda eruda rather <laughs> uh if we had that as the console we could actually access a whole bunch of things so let's play this again and i'll show you so we can actually access, access the elements right here if you tap on the body it shows you the head and the uh, the, the paragraph uh, tags if you tap on the head you, you see the text that is inside of the head you have you have access to the the computed styles the margin the border of the whole screen you have access to the network the resources you can uh, create uh, session storage local storage cookies you have access to see the number of scripts that are inside the the uh the page the number of styles the number of iframes the number of images just like in your normal uh website or your normal uh, uh pc browsers you can also set the console to look however you want it to look like okay so the, you can change it to be dark okay i think i like this you can change it to be dark and all that and if you want to uh, nav uh this is what uh toggles the console on and off so if you hit it once it goes off you hit it again it goes on you can completely disable it by tapping this off and it goes off and just like i said if i just go back you can uh, also have desktop mode if you pinch out and zoom out you notice that the screen zooms out if you had a responsive website right now you would see that it goes on a desktop move uh, mode so the, the local uh uh, session right here it's the browser it's the it's very nice it displays very awesome things for us and if we go back to the settings let me just see if there's anything more important to talk about here we have tablet moods okay 
uh, basically everything else it just tells you the uh the version of chrome that you're using version of uh uh the app you can then check documentations and all that so that's basically it you go here to the discover and you have a whole bunch of uh, trending applications a whole bunch of applications that were created off of html css and javascript and we have a whole bunch of that so you can tap on, on anyone and clone it into your into your apps so if we tap on clone right now it would actually require you to sign in so if you do that so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna sign in right now and i'm gonna fast forward it to after i've signed in okay i've signed in and once you sign into either google git or facebook enter your details it's very safe i promise <laughs> and tap on the uh okay uh, symbol it will start cloning it and i've already got the information that i need let's see how many files we have so we're having just one script file a login html login file bunch of css files another content file html file and a con cattle html file so let's actually play this to see how nice it's looking and you can see the interface just pops out and it's very beautiful if you click on login it gives you a nice login interface car what was that creal conta and contato so it's it's just uh a very nice uh something to <laughs> to to look at it has really nice uh, animations so you can see how beautiful and powerful this uh, application is and it was made by creador paul js directos the imaginos so uh, these patients are not english but it's you can get this from flaticon.com and that's just basically it from cloning so we'll go back to this interface again you can get news if you tap on the news side you can get the news of the latest updates and then your lab uh basically you don't really need uh much of this place uh if you're just starting to use the app this this so on the top uh screen on this navigation bar this one that looks like a search icon you can use this and search on when you're on an application say you tap on, on the first project and then you tap on this uh, search find text I probably want to find what do we want to find right now I want to find the word hello there say hello say search and it finds uh, the text hello and you can actually replace this let's say we replace it with hi and we tap this switch uh, icon that is just right here and it, uh, it pops out uh, a request asking whether you want it to switch just say okay and it has already switched and if you go back here what we'll be having is hi there instead of hello there so it's very nice and very powerful this right here is for uh, your repositories your repositories if you want to see your repositories this is for your um, profile just shows your profile if you want to sign out from your account and all that so basically this is all for for now for this application uh you can actually use this and start up uh, it does and start up creating your web applications and it's very nice it's very powerful it gives you every coding error everything that uh can be used or will be used on your normal coding systems and i think i've pointed out basically everything that needs to be actually pointed out and that's it uh, please do not forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you liked uh, this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.